Dr. Greeny here. I'm a dermatologist and today I'm going to talk about one of the most controversial acne treatments, at least on social media and online. And yes, you guessed it, it's Accutane or Isotretinoin. Echo chambers online have stirred up all kinds of controversy about this medication and treatment. And that's why I think it's so important for me today to get on here as a dermatologist and help clear up some of these misconceptions. I'm gonna talk about what Accutane is, how we use it, what it treats, what expectations you can have, what common side effects there are with the medication, how it differs in treatment of men and women. I'm also gonna talk about a great skincare regimen for people that are on Accutane. So needless to say, this video is gonna be loaded with information. But before we get into it, I know if you love skincare that you'll love my channel, Swollen D Skincare on YouTube. So please subscribe and let me help you get your best skin. I wanna start off by saying Accutane is by far one of the best treatments, no, the best treatment for acne that there is in the world. It's one of the only treatments that can promise a long-term cure for acne. That's right, saying totally goodbye to your acne, it's cured, there's no more treatment, no more topicals it's done. Now Accutane is not the easiest medication to obtain from a doctor, to take, to be monitored on, or to deal with the side effects. But it's definitely doable. Many people have used it before you. They've done good successful treatments with it and got through the course. One of the things that people tend to worry about with Accutane are the side effects. And there are some that are very common, namely dryness, or as we call it in the dermatology office, xerosis. So dryness is super common. Literally every single person that's on Accutane is gonna have some dry skin skin problems. The majority of people notice this dry skin, particularly on their lips, but sometimes even people's eyes or their nose can get dry too. Another fairly common side effect that I see in my patients is muscle aches. This tends to be in people that are athletic, that work out regularly. They notice more muscle soreness and achiness after an exercise, but usually this isn't something that would stop a person from taking the medication. In a moment, I'm going to talk about the lab monitoring that goes into keeping a person safe while they're on Accutane, but definitely lab abnormalities can be a common thing. The most common things we see are changes in the fats in people's blood or cholesterol. So this is a common lab abnormality that we see and it's not a big deal as long as we keep it safe and we make sure it's not getting too high. The other thing that people come to me and worry about with Accutane is hair loss. And Accutane is a retinoid. It has similar effects to vitamin A inside the body. So hair losses can happen with retinoids, but I will say isotretinoin is much less likely to cause that. Other retinoids that are given for other conditions like psoriasis can sometimes cause hair loss more frequently. The good news is this hair loss is reversible. So if you stop the medicine, the hair tends to normalize over a couple month period. I know you guys are gonna have questions about acne, Accutane, or maybe any other skincare question and I want you to know you can always ask in the comments below. Now there are a few things we always ask patients about when we prescribe Accutane. We ask about inflammatory bowel disease history in the family or personal history of it such as Crohn's or ulcerative colitis and we also tend to ask about depression or suicidal ideation meaning thoughts of suicide. The reason that we ask these questions is when Accutane was first getting started there were some studies that showed associations with inflammatory bowel disease and depression. There are no randomized well-controlled studies to support that depression is caused by Accutane or inflammatory bowel disease is caused by Accutane. In fact, some studies have showed improved depression, which makes sense to me as a dermatologist because people's acne is getting treated, they're getting better, and their depression will be less and less. The other thing to keep in mind with inflammatory bowel disease is the time in someone's life when they would be taking isotretinoin, usually in their teens and early 20s, is the same time that people would be being diagnosed with inflammatory bowel disease. So in a way, this can be more of a coincidence than a direct causation. Now, one of the main reasons that this medication is so tough to get in the United States is because it causes severe birth defects when a woman takes this medicine and was to become pregnant. These birth defects can happen in around 30% of women that are taking this medication and become pregnant. So this leads to a couple practical considerations for someone taking Accutane. Is one, you cannot share this medicine with anybody because you risk giving it to a woman or a woman getting it that doesn't have the education from her dermatologist. She takes it and she can develop birth defects. Similarly, you cannot share your blood while you're on this medication for the entire treatment or for one month afterwards because if a pregnant woman was to get donated blood from you, then she'd have the same risk of developing birth defects as if she was taking the medicine herself. Since isotretinoin does have similar effects to vitamin A inside the body biologically, it's also important not to take high dose vitamin A supplements during the time that you're on Accutane. So in just a moment, I'm gonna talk about a 
great skincare routine to do while you're on Accutane, but I do wanna give you a little bit more information before we get there. So Accutane is actually taken once or twice a day. Sometimes you can take the whole dose in the morning or night, or sometimes people prefer to split the dose between the morning and the night. So we dose Accutane based on your body weight. So every person's goal dose will be unique based on their body weight. If we can get people to their goal dose, usually over a course of five or six months, that gives you the best chance of cure of your acne permanently. That's right, saying bye-bye to acne forever. Accutane also needs to be taken with fatty food because it absorbs better that way. If someone was to eat a very low-fat diet, and take Accutane, they may not get a great effect from the medicine. Accutane, when taken with fat, absorbs better into the body and has a better effect. With that said, you don't wanna get out of hand. No burgers and fries every single day for the same reason that I told you before. One of the most common things that we can see on people's labs when we monitor them are elevated lipids. So if you're eating fatty food all the time, that could cause a problem. Now getting started as a man versus a woman is much different with Accutane. Women have to be on two forms of birth control because of the risk of birth defects that I mentioned before. Men, it's pretty easy going. If you decide you're gonna go on the medicine, you talk to your dermatologist, you can actually start right away. But usually some screen labs are done just to make sure you're safe and healthy before you get started. Usually you start it on a bit of a lower dose before you get up to your maximum goal dose. When you start on that dose, they'll check your labs about a month later. If they increase the dose, they may again check it a month later. If things look normal, some dermatologists choose not to check labs every month going forward. However, if you're a woman on Accutane, it is required that you get a pregnancy test every single month. As a dermatologist, we cannot dispense more than 30 days of this medicine at a time. So that does mean that people will be coming back for multiple visits throughout their course. All right, now the part that most of you guys have been waiting for and about what most people tend to ask me about, skincare while on Accutane. First of all, stop all your actives for acne. You don't need any of the benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acids anymore. You're on Accutane, it's the best medicine that there is for acne. Now we just have to complete our course and be patient. There are a few skincare products that you're gonna wanna have around. And the bottom line is these are all very gentle. The first thing I'm gonna mention is a good gentle cleanser. This is the CeraVe Gentle Hydrating Cleanser. It's awesome, it's very gentle, it's gonna cleanse your skin. It doesn't lather a lot, but it's perfect for someone on Accutane. One of the areas of dryness that bother people the most is the lips. So I wanna show you a few great options for that. And the first one's gonna be Aquaphor. So Aquaphor is an awesome ointment-based moisturizer that provides a barrier to our lips and prevents them from becoming dry and cracked. You can also use Vaseline. Vaseline is very cheap, easy, affordable. No one's allergic to it. It doesn't irritate, it's perfect. Another company that you've probably grown to love if you've watched my channel is Vanacream. This is a company that prides itself on not what's in its products, but what's not in its products. And some of the things that aren't in this product are allergens and irritants. Great for the lips as well. Now that all the skin on your body may get dry and irritated, but you're definitely gonna wanna put a good moisturizer on your face. So you can use something like Vanacream, Again, they make a nice daily facial moisturizer, or you can use products like CeraVe or La Roche-Posay. When you're on retinoids, you may be a little bit more sensitive to the sun, so sun protection is more important than ever. As always, I always recommend using a sun protective factor of 30 to 50 a day, every single day, summer, winter, rain, sleet, or shine. One of my favorite brands for sun protection is Elta MD. So this is an SPF 50. This is their UV Sheer Broad Spectrum SPF 50. This would be a perfect facial sunscreen for anybody on Accutane. You wanna look for something that's oil-free and non-comedogenic. That means it won't block pores and it won't cause acne bumps. Another great option is La Roche-Posay. This is their tinted mineral-based sunscreen. This is SPF 50, another great option for someone on Accutane. People that have struggled with acne for so many years are super surprised when they can finally simplify their skincare routine and not try a million different things to try to cure their acne. So just know you only need a few products and you're gonna do great. So I wanna leave you with two expectations for somebody on Accutane. One, you're gonna be a little bit dry. That just comes with the territory. And two, you most likely will be able to kiss your acne goodbye forever. It's awesome, it's the best treatment that there is for acne. Most people do perfectly fine on it, stay normal, healthy, and everything while they're on the treatment. So I really hope this has helped you. If it has, please consider subscribing or check out some of my other YouTube videos. I love helping you guys get your best skin and I'll see you next week.